Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. I've just arrived at Staffordshire County Showground. I've uh, got my ticket for the stalking show and I can't wait to get in. Last year was absolutely brilliant. The plan is to walk around, have a little chat to a load of people and uh, hopefully try and learn something. Hi everybody, this is David, uh, one of the main organisers of the Stalking Show held here at Staffordshire County Showground. The dream came uh, into mind about three years ago. It's been a, uh, a long road and a big challenge, uh, but as you can see now behind me and all around the show, uh, it's been uh, a wonderful and amazing experience and big success. The first show was in uh, April 2022 um, and you can see behind me now, as I say, we've gone, gone from strength to strength. We started out last year with about 95 to 100 stands. Uh, we've now got here today over 160 stands. Uh, so you can see where it's gone in just 12 months. Uh, feedback already is absolutely amazing. I'm so delighted with it this, this year. Uh, Visitor footfall through the door has also not only doubled, but nearly trebled, dare I say. Ticket sales are up uh, over three times. Uh, we're already looking forward to 2024, five and six. We have provisionally uh, booked the uh, Staffordshire County Showground for the event to take place. Uh, but clearly, Bingley Hall and the adjacent la uh, halls that we have are not quite big enough. There is more space here at uh, Staffordshire, so we've uh, gone and we will be the only event here for the coming years. So we've taken more halls on and we look forward to uh, getting stuck in all, uh, to next year's show and beyond. Already stand holders are coming to us and say, saying that they want to book up for next year and even larger spaces and we will be uh, taking bookings for the years to come. So absolutely delighted. The team has done an amazing job. I would like to say a massive thank you to the support that we've had. Um, I'm not going to name names, but there are some you know, really important people out there, organisations that have made it all happen. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, uh, blown away by the, uh, the, you know, the success and the support that we've had. We, we, you know, the, the, it's just phenomenal. Thank you very much. I've managed to bump into Tom and Harry, who are behind me there and uh, they're going to show me around and uh, try and give me a bit of um, firearms education to follow on from all the other stuff. Alex is obviously supposed to do his firearms application and what we are trying to do is educate him in the in the world of rifles and at the moment discussing, discussing different action types available so at the moment uh, talking about normal bolt action rifles we're also going to show him a kit plow style rifle because that's what i love and then we're also going to show him a blazer straight pull style rifle so currently looking at sours so normal bolt action style rifle which harry's going to demonstrate straight up straight back forward and down it's basically the most probably the most simple action that you can get therefore the most generally the most affordable it's you know the bolts are they don't act complicated on most of these sort of rifles compared to a straight pull or whatever. It's got a, a series of locking lugs in the bolt that then lock into the actual barrel and the action itself. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're the most ubiquitous, most common, most popular, tried and tested, you can't really go wrong. You normally get about three shots in a magazine, sometimes five, if you want a bit more. Um, this is a very nice carbon sour 404 so I definitely can't afford. So I, I think they're kind of like your starting point in terms of rifles. In terms of if you're looking at rifles, you're probably looking at a bolt action to start with. And then if you want to go one step further, you might look at something like a Kiplauf, a single shot. Um, you can see there, you'd break it open to the side just like you would do a shotgun. Single cartridge goes in there, uh, close it up. Uh, and it's live, ready to go. They dismantle like a shotgun would, so this fore end comes off, barrel unit then comes off as well. Um, 
they're not cheap rifles. Uh, so this is a Blaser K95. Uh, you can see behind me about 6,000. You can get cheaper equivalents. So uh, Merck will make one starting about 3,000, um, and uh, a couple of others make some cheaper versions. So I'm struggling to think who off the top of my head. Um, as I said, they're probably not for your, your average stalker, if that makes sense. I, I think they're beautiful, uh, lovely, incredibly lightweight, simple rifles. For me, this is something you'd hand down to your, your children, your grandchildren, etc. And the most important thing to remember is that you would never, ever put a moderator on a rifle like this. It's just too elegant. You would never which put is, a silencer on it. Which is why they, they don't screw cut them. Only for heathens, like Tom. So I, I've got a moderator on mine, which is why Harry's teasing me. This is probably probably the most complicated action that there is. Yeah. Compared to a bolt action, it's it, you know, instead of going up, back, forward and back, you basically, once the safety catch is off, you pull straight back and straight forward. But obviously the bolt itself has all these little petals. I don't know if you can see that. And the way that it locks is it goes forward, and as soon as you press that forward, the petals sort of expand into the into the actual action and the barrel itself. So this is all obviously got to be machined and, and, and made to work, and therefore they're probably more expensive yeah. than a bolt action in general. I mean, there are some good value ones out there on the market, but um, the, you know the benefit really of this is that is speed. You yeah. can wrap this probably quicker than a bolt action. Yeah. So a lot of people will have these for driven style shooting, so um, hogs, deer, on, mainly on the continent, really. Um, Blaza, Beretta, um, and Browning, and Merkel all make straightforward versions of these. You buy one of these in 308, and you wake up the next morning and decide, actually, I want a 223. You could buy a 223 barrel and bolt face, uh, but still keep the rest of the rifle exactly the same, and you just plug and play those separate bits in. There you go. As you can see, we're on the Simpsons Brothers stand. Um, obviously, you can see, looking around, you've got a good representation of the Harkeeler stock um, on the stand. Um, some great show offers available. Um, as you can see, sort of slightly behind, um, you, we've got the Deerstalker camo um, HWS jacket and trousers, followed by, obviously, you've got other great styles like the, the Mountain Hunter hybrid jacket, which is a great um, outfit for deer stalking in the spring summer season. Hi, I'm the husband of Clover Shuttlewood. I'm a gamekeeper, and my wife started the Shuttle Socks in 2018. It was all born because she wanted to buy me a pair of socks for Father's Day, and I wanted some with grouse on. She couldn't get any with grouse on, and I said, There you are, there's your business idea. So she went away and she made some socks with a grouse and they were bright red, nice colour, but when I put them on, my feet sweat like mad. And to be honest, the grouse didn't look like a grouse. So I said, we'll design the grouse, you get, you get a, a sock when my feet won't sweat. And this is where every, everything took off. She got the best quality cotton she could to make the funkiest socks for country people. The idea was we wear drab clothes, we're very, very, very dull in our way we dress, but we can be a little bit wild in our socks. These socks were so comfortable that one day we were out on the mower, our feet were hot, our feet were sweaty. Why aren't we making shooting socks out of the very same material? So we decided to make the shooting socks, which are all cotton. Some of the benefits of them is they don't fall down. Your feet very rarely sweat in them. And if they do sweat, with it being a natural fibre and good quality cotton, they'll pass a sniff test on a morning. Guaranteed, unless your wife gets to them first. We've also started a range of leggings and base layers, which I haven't personally worn, but we have managed to get one gamekeeper to try them, and he said they were very comfortable. Welcome to Lank Shoes. Uh, we are a shoe company based in Worley in the Ribble Valley of Lancashire. We've been going for five years now. We design our own shoes, we source all our own materials, and we employ three UK factories to make our shoes for us. We've sourced our materials from as far as South America, Japan, as well as uh, using leathers from Lancashire, uh, from Yorkshire, and we even have our socks made in Leicestershire. Hi everybody, it's Lumberjacks Food Company here. We're here today at the fantastic stalking show here at Stafford, and I will leave Brendan to tell us all about Lumberjacks Food Company. Yeah, so we started the company two years ago. We're coming into our third year. Um, started off with just the barbecue seasoning. 
progressed on to Buffalo. We've now got a range of seasoning, some sweet, some spicy, depending on what you like. And we've also got three sauces, a backyard barbecue sauce, moonshine mango and chili, and a Louisiana style hot sauce. We know a lot of people have tried the products and love them, and we just want to spread the word as much as possible and get everyone to try our products. Absolutely. This is so fancy, I love it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm Katie Hargreaves. I'm a wildlife artist, and I specialize in charcoal. Um, welcome to my gallery. Uh, there's a lot of deer here. I'm very happy to be at the stalking show because I am a stalker myself. Um, and so I'm very passionate about deer and I just love drawing them and getting all the textures. So you can see different types of furs going on here. And uh, it's all black and white, very minimal. And yeah, it's a great show. You should come next year if you haven't been here. Hi guys, so we're at the stalking show just outside of Stafford. As you can see, we're on the Pulsar stand. We've got some uh, nice uh, new products as well, if you'd like to follow me over. This is uh, causing uh, some <laughs> major excitement. We've got the new Telos, which is replacing the Helion. We have got the new XL50 mergers, but they're just on chart, well, they're just on a little demo at the moment. We've got the normal Axions. We've got the little uh, XM30F, which uh, a lot of stalkers like in the field because of a uh, compact size. This is uh, causing a little stir at the stalking show as well. We have the uh, Furmin Duo DXP50, 4K camera and thermal at the same time. What we've found, we've uh, found that the, uh, the front add-ons are uh, uh, getting a lot of interest. The Furmins, as always, so uh, yeah. Hi guys, I'm Ryan from Highland Outdoors. Just going to give you a quick whistle, -top whistle stop tour of our stand at this year's stalking show. So starting off, we've got the full range of Christensen Arms rifles, including the modern, modern precision, modern hunting rifle. Interestingly, now that we import proof research barrels to the UK, we've got proof research carbon fiber and stainless steel barrels as an example, as well as on the other side, proof research elevation complete rifle, absolutely stunning stunning piece of kit everybody knows spartan precision for their lightweight bipods tripods really well thought out mounting gear we have massive display of tier one including the new atac bipods the new qd rings new qd mono mount laser range finding binos from gpo and these are probably my favorite star of the show the little orange gpo passion ed binoculars magnesium body 8x32 beautiful beautiful image and they're coming in bang on budget great to be at the stalking show luckily on friday the day before the stalking show our new 42 geovid pro turned up it was important that we had it for this business it is so new that we're still waiting for the 1042 to come and this is how we're moving forward this device has rangefinder ballistics and it also has a tracking device so should you lose your point of uh, impact and you have to go out of sight by following an app, you will arrive at your last point that you measured your object matter.